Hello, glad to have you join us again on the breakfast show on Tetel Nigeria TV. My name is Wana Adan. Welcome back. Dictionary.com defines the word difficult as something not easily or readily done that requires much labor, skill, and planning in order to get it done successfully. Now, most people find mathematics a difficult subject when it goes beyond the kindergarten division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. This morning on The Breakfast Show, we'll be discussing reasons why most people find mathematics a difficult subject. Now, to help us do this, we have a guest in the studio. He is a mathematics teacher. He is the head of department mathematics junior secondary section of the World of Faith Schools. Please join us. Welcome, Ogbede Kennedy Agbons. You're welcome. Good morning, Good morning. Thank Good morning. you for joining Good us. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, you are not a stranger to The Breakfast Show. You've been here before, so thank you for joining us once again. Thank you. Um, we want to know how long have you been a math teacher? How long have you been teaching math? Precisely when I was in secondary school, I'll be teaching my colleague. I'll be teaching <laughs> both as a profession and as a career. Okay. Uh, I've been teaching math for about seven years now. Wow, mm, that was a long seven time. years. <laughs> okay, uh, it's actually you know, unique because most times, most schools... They look for math teachers. They are not readily available. But mm. now, for you to be teaching it for seven years, and you said even from your secondary school, what prompted this love for mathematics? Okay. Initially, I was so poor in math. I was poor, and uh, when I changed my ideas and the way I think and what I want to study in future, I know mathematics. If mathematics is not involved, I cannot amount to that uh, to that stage. Therefore, I have to develop interest and I, I continue to practice it. That's what makes me to fall in love with mathematics. Okay. Mm, okay. Yeah, you just <laughs> talked about um, what you want to do in future. No, so now for me, I don't think mathematics is applicable to what I do now <laughs> because remember in school they'll tell you find X. Yes. Look for X. Right now, I'm not looking for X. So there's no way we're looking. You don't go to the bank and you start finding X. All you do is multiplication, addition, and all of that. So how is mathematics applicable to our life and um, our daily living, rather? Okay, thank you for that question. As, I, as you said, mathematics is arithmetic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Addition, subtraction, multiplication. Uh, you apply math everything, even when you are cooking. Addition of salt or <laughs> subtraction of this. Okay. Application, is, uh, application of math is done everywhere. As we are sitting here now, if you, we have three persons on the stage now, it's mathematics for you to calculate that mm. this is the people we have. You apply math everywhere. Now, the reason why we are counting it when we are solving, say, X, X is a variable. Mm -hmm. You are meant to solve it. You are using, it's an assumption initial stage. If you have, maybe you are in a room and you want to know the number of people, by guessing, you say, okay, let's assume the number to be X. Mm -hmm. After solving, getting the answer, you now say, oh, X is now this number that's why we use s mm -hmm. not as s is what we're looking for we can't see it in band mm -hmm. it just pre-assume the value to be s that's it okay. Mm -hmm. now my my co-host said something very <laughs> funny i i know in secondary school and primary school the x's i found if i calculate them i'll be a billionaire <laughs> we found x and x and x okay. but like she said um aside the basic addition multiplication division subtraction the X's that we're finding, is it actually really necessary in our daily living? Because mm. I'm not a science student, but I remember then in secondary school, mathematics was made compulsory in our Wayek and NECO exams. And if you don't pass it, most schools don't even grant you admission. But the course I studied had nothing to do with maths. As a matter of fact, I didn't actually do maths again after secondary school. Yeah. But it was made compulsory for me to gain admission into university. And I know, I know my basic addition, multiplication, and the rest. So why is mathematics compulsory? in you know when you want to go higher in your education why don't you just do the basics once you know the basics why don't you qualify yeah, with just the go. basics yeah. okay thank you for that question mm -hmm. as i said earlier mass is a number and when you do mass initially your reasoning begin to be broadening your your thinking begin to be enlightened you have more ideas 
That's why they make it as a compulsory. Even if you are not going to use it in university, in one way or the other, it must surely come. That's why I said you need it in every day's life. Every day you need mathematics. And uh, concerning the mass, whether you are not going to use it in a university, mm -hmm. I, I, as I said, is a basic tool for education. Social science, you need it. In, in technology, you need it. In science, you need it. That's what you're That's saying. What you're saying we need it in social science. Because I was a social science student. Okay. In what way do you need mathematics in social science? In it, it, like, economics is part of social science. And economics, you do statistics. Mm -hmm. And in statistics, is involved mathematics, computation. That's why you need it in every course. Okay. That's, that's it. Okay, now, uh, you're a maths teacher, um, junior secondary session. Are there challenges for you as a maths teacher? You know, maybe communicating with your students and your daily living. Are there challenges that you face as a maths teacher? Yes, there, there are many difficulties in, uh, in mathematics, maybe in teaching and mm. in, uh, in testing and also in giving classwork. Uh, okay, maths is a basic. When you miss it, you miss it. It will be very difficult for you to trace your step. Now, we have students coming from elementary to, to secondary school. Mm -hmm. Maybe they have challenges in addition, mm -hmm. in subtraction. And most curriculum in secondary school does not really entice doing addition again. Mm -hmm. They assume they've learned those ones. Because of that, that, you have to go back to the basic, mm -hmm. to start from the scratch again. And mm -hmm. those, are some challenge, those are some challenges we encounter as a... Uh, as a, t a secondary school teacher yes. and mm -hmm. you have to go back to the basic and uh, it, it it takes your time and also there are some students that are very lazy you know mathematics is doing is practicing by doing okay. yeah. you practice by doing mathematics is not done for you it's not a story mm -hmm. the more you practice the more you solve the more you know it but other courses might involve teacher get to class just start explaining in exam and okay you can remember the story mass is not done that way yeah. mass is logic is by number you do it by practicing and it's everyday work okay. that's Okay, I'm glad you mentioned just now that mass is not a storytelling you know, kind <laughs> of experience. Yeah. But we've had situations. So let me give you an example. Mm -hmm. My junior secondary school days, we had this mathematics teacher, very good mathematics teacher, but he did not carry the whole class along while teaching. Yeah. There's this thing he does once he starts teaching and he notices that a section of the class understands what he's teaching, he moves on to the next topic, yeah. leaving a large number of us confused and wondering, how did he derive, how did he get this number? How did he arrive on this calculation? You get it? Yeah. So then we, we, we started to lose interest in mathematics. So when he's coming to class, we just start, <laughs> we don't want to learn mathematics and all of that. So in that aspect, the foundation wasn't strong. So what would you say are the reasons why people see mathematics as a difficult subject? Also, is it the negative mindset that we have towards the, the subject itself that has made people to lose interest and you know begin to have poor performance. Okay, thank you for that question. Uh, mathematics is practical. Yeah. You have to make it interesting. Mm -hmm. You have to put. You, you have to tell the reason behind it. That anyone that wants to become an engineer, without math, you are going nowhere. Mm -hmm. If you want to become a scientist, you can a doctor, yeah. and they are happy when you are telling them this because yeah. the mathematics is what will make them to become that particular thing. Therefore, you have to make it interesting. Yeah. There are times you carry all of them together. You you tell them story about how mathematics comes about. They are interested. You okay? You tell them the importance of mathematics, yeah. and you have to make your class lively. When you are entering the class, people should be happy to receive you. Not, <laughs> no, no, not like sad. Yeah. Where, where I'm from, uh, World of Faith, GRO, eh? yeah. we have different approach we use for mathematics. There are times you get to class, it's okay, the best student come and solve math for us. The children, it now become a challenge for them. Mm -hmm. So That's if true. Abraham can solve it, oh, yes. I'm, I'm, um, I'm, going to, I'm going to try tomorrow. They will even be telling you, uncle, please, tomorrow, let me solve this math. Let me, mm -hmm. they are interested. You, you just always to ensure they, they love it. You give the assignment. There are times I gave my children an assignment. I said, your daddy and your mommy, everybody in the house will solve it. <laughs> it it becomes more interesting. Some of, them will, some of them will tell you, oh, my dad doesn't know math. I said, it's an opportunity for you to now start teaching your teaching daddy. Your dad, yeah. it, make, it make it interesting. Come with idea that will ensure the children are interesting. They, or if they, when school is closing, they will tell you, uncle, I don't want to go. I want to solve more maths. Mm -hmm. That's, That's interesting. I remember when we were in 
were much younger, kindergarten days, nursery school days, when you want to, when they want to teach us maths, they bring toys, they bring um, objects around, and they yeah. use it to illustrate a lot of things, and it's you know more engaging. Now I heard you say you try to make your class more interesting by calling out the best students to solve. And I'm sure that not everybody in your class is very good in mathematics. So how do you do it on a general level? Because then it's, when I was in secondary school, it was more of textbooks. Turn to this page, solve this, yeah. solve that, and trust me, I got bored of mathematics. And you know, I was just like an average student when it comes to mathematics. That wasn't my high point. Because you know, people are using more of textbooks to teach. So are there practical ways? You said you mentioned form ways. I want you to give us form ways for other teachers that are listening that might not, you know, be adapting these form ways. Because I feel if you make it more practical, if you watch foreign movies, you see the way they teach and there are a lot of practicals and people are actually very much engaged. Yeah. You're wondering whether it was the same mathematics that you were taught or this was actually being taught. <laughs> yeah. But they are more engaged and they're actually enjoying it. So what are those practical ways you've adapted to teach in your class? Okay, first. Uh, uh, you choose different approach because if okay. you keep using one approach, it might not give you your results. Yeah. Yeah. You might just carry a few in the class. Yeah. Maybe there are some they are very shy; they will not even come aside. If you are using that approach to say everybody teach, you see that some of them will still run away. Mm -hmm. Now, the very best thing is to know your student, yeah. know what they like, know how to please them to ensure they know it. Yeah. Practically, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm presently teaching a topic: cylinder and a cone. You tell them, oh, we're going to design Christmas uh, tree cap. Oh, yeah. And that Christmas cap looks like a cone. A cone. Yeah. And, and when, when, you are, when, when you are solving anything, okay, everybody put on your Christmas uh, uh, cap like yeah. a cone. Mm -hmm. We're going to calculate the cost surface area of the... You see everybody, they are, bring, they are, they, they are seeing their cone on their head. They are seeing it practically yeah. that, oh, this shape is not abstract. Yeah. We are seeing this shape. Yes. Now you are, you are calculating cylinder. You say, okay, everybody, you know cylinder? Your pick make at home look like a cylinder. Okay, mm -hmm. if there is half make inside, this is the total surface area. This is the volume. You are seeing, the, 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 you are, they are seeing what you are teaching. Okay. They, are inter they are interested. You can even carry a bowl of, of, of water yeah. and have fill it and say, okay, T tell us the, the, how many liters can feed this bowl. They are seeing it. The, the, it becomes more interesting to mm -hmm. them. That's why mathematics is not just about talking or by solving. It involves both practical. You make them think. Let them see it. You have to use teaching aid. Yeah. The, the, the school I, 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 I'm, I'm teaching and Word of Faith, GRA, we use teaching aid. Well, number one, a teacher does not go to class without a teaching aid. Yeah. Because seeing is, seeing students, they see and understand better, better than yeah. you learn than hearing. Textbook, yeah. that's, that's it. We teach by we 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 teach by uh, practical by different approach that we ensure at the end students come out well. Okay, now with all these practicals and teaching aids and the rest that you mentioned, what would you say is the, uh, the um, performance level of your students or your students? Right, what's the performance level of your students in school with everything that you've you know adapted in teaching them? Okay. Basically, there is a drastic uh, 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 increase in performance yeah. mm. because using all these approach. Because today you might come with ap approach of telling story about maths. Mm. Yeah. Tomorrow you talk about approach of using teaching head. Mm -hmm. Next tomorrow you talk about group work. Mm -hmm. You group them. Yeah. Who is a challenge for them? The, the, the other day you group them. Okay, by teaching yeah. using all this approach, I believe. Everyone can learn from these one or two things. Mm -hmm. But re remember, education is not, uh, is, 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 we shouldn't wait as the results you are seeing now. Yeah. You, what, what you are teaching now, you might not get the instant results. Yeah. Or oh, this thing, uh, the, the, it takes time. Mm -hmm. It takes time and it's a gradual process. Mm -hmm. Now, you, you might teach now and the student might not really perform to that expectation. Believe me, they understand what you are saying. They can, when, when, they, when they are faced with a challenge, they can apply it. Okay. Now we have um, comments. Thank you so much to all our viewers that you know, take our time to drop their comments on IG, on Facebook, and all our social media platforms. Thank you. Thank you so much. We have comments on Facebook right now, and I'm going to be reading out some of the comments. Now, Patrick Ubane says, I found mathematics very difficult in school, but in some way it is very interesting and an important subject. Okay. I am Jephthah Idoho says, I have no problem with X at all. The problem I have with mathematics is dy slash dx. <laughs> it hasn't been applicable. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And um, so, um, Feti Mani says, hmm, mathematics. Now, this sends that message out, hmm, mathematics. Yeah. And we have Omokodion Ubesia that says education is the key. 
Thank you so much. That's the comments we'll be taking for now. We have so many other comments. And, you know, like I said, thank you so much for taking out your time to comment. Now, um, Mr. Kennedy, you were talking about what of faith schools, your school, and, you know, probably your school is doing well. What of other schools? Are there educational bodies that come together to actually incorporate mathematics on a broader level to people? Because your school is like one ten of so many other schools in Edo State and yes. in Nigeria as a whole. So is there a way that it's being done on a broader level to actually, you know, inculcate mathematics into students for them to enjoy it more and for them to actually no longer see it as a difficult subject? Okay, thank you. First, that's the work of the Ministry of Education. Mm -hmm. uh, they, 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 they are meant to monitor the way teachers disseminate information to students and how practical they can be when teaching this uh, Discourse yeah. and thank God for the Edo State Governor who brought different gadgets. Now, I okay. think the children in public school they have opportunity also, also seeing image. Yeah. Most of them they, they can see it on their on their uh, uh, laptop given to them or the pant up given to them. Yeah. Y y y yes, I, I think school is gradually going into practical aspects, not the olden days aspect that. The teacher come with chalk, write and go. No, yeah. it's it, mass is not interesting. Mm -hmm. Mass is not interesting. I believe we have mm -hmm. more to also also also, also do. Okay. We have more to do. But I I, I, I can tell you for now, for Edo State yeah. uh, education in Edo State is coming to a digital level. Mm -hmm. Where to, uh, it's coming to a digital level. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so do you do you think for our viewers, are you yeah. advising them that maths is a good career prospects yes, yes like because most most people would have loved to study, study science yes. subjects but because of mathematics, mathematics they withdrew so is there any career prospects in mathematics yeah very very as i said earlier i was one of the dullest in mathematics i i didn't know even one plus one yeah. but i realized i cannot become an engineer i cannot become a statistician i cannot become a mathematician i cannot become a physicist i cannot become a scientist without yeah. this yeah. Picturing my future, I know math is very important. I have to start developing interest. As I said earlier, mathematics is learning by doing. You every day you have to keep motivating yourself that oh, if someone can do it, yes, I can do it better. You buy books, invest more on books. For 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 children nowadays, they 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 watch different things, but they don't focus mainly on the, on how to develop oneself. It, 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 we, the problem about mathematics is not the teacher or the school, it's the personal interest to this aspect. I believe when you can develop interest in it, you, you, you can achieve whatsoever you want to achieve. Okay, <laughs> that is very wonderful. Now, I, I, with this you know, conversation this morning, I see mathematics you know, yeah, in different getting line, interesting like, already. Getting interesting <laughs> right and if I could go back, I would probably go back and you know, yeah, you do know. better, have more interest in it. Yeah. And um, thank you so much, Mr. Kennedy, for. You know, taking our time to enlighten us more on mathematics and to our viewers out there thank you so much for watching this morning and like you said it really really boils down to your mindset your personal interest so you know work harder do not be a lazy student mathematics is not for the lazy minded so if you <laughs> actually want to do very well in mathematics take our time to practice 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 you know listen more and practice on your own it's going to help you out a lot Thank you so much for joining us this morning on the Breakfast Show on TSL Nigeria TV. We're going to be back on Wednesday for another very, very interesting episode. And I'm sure you don't want to miss out. Do out follow us on all our socials at TSL Nigeria TV. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, TSL Nigeria TV. So you come your way again. Do well to stay safe. I'm Wana Dana. Stay connected to TSL Nigeria and get updates on the go all day, every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel on TSL Nigeria Space TV and join our online family.